Shandos Symphony Orchestra is committed to supporting young musicians. It offers the opportunity to showcase their talents in an annual competition and to compete for a £1,000 first prize. The competition takes the form of a recital in the presence of an audience, thereby giving valuable performance experience as well as the benefit of a professional assessment. This year, the chief adjudicator was Michael Lloyd, international ballet, opera and orchestral conductor and the musical director of Shandos Symphony Orchestra. The competition throws up some extraordinarily high standards and really interesting, uh, good young musicians. It's always been a, a thrill to be involved in it. Um, every now and then we are startled how good they are. Overall, it's the, it's, the, it's the general level that we are so pleased with as a competition. Um, of the five finalists, all of whom were very enjoyable to listen to, Beth and Irving, the clarinet, has many good properties and uh, we really enjoyed the chance to hear the Joseph Horowitz um, sonata. Those are, he's such a good composer and the, she chose her programme well. Kirsten Lloyd Leach is a very talented, promising young singer. I mean, her final programme was really well chosen and really well put together, um, with some delightful songs and very well handled on the whole. But she's a young singer, and there's a long way to go.
Of our three prize winners, all three showed a, a very high ability of handling their instruments uh, to a very high extent, uh, good level. Um, the saxophonist, uh, really interesting because we, you know, a saxophone isn't the most usual thing to hear. Uh, some beautiful sounds, very well developed ideas of shading through the colours and of, of movement through the music. And, um, and it was great to have her on board as part of the final round. The cellist we've known before, and she is a lovely cellist, just didn't quite come today to the top level of her ability. Just some technical things didn't happen quite as perhaps they should have done. Um, but some lovely playing in the Rachmaninoff and in the, in the Brahms, and good teamwork with her pianist.
Adelaide to some technically very demanding music, beautifully handled and also musically so well portrayed. Um, it was a thrill to hear. Using a, a, a preliminary round, we know we're getting a fairly good standard anyway. Um, and it was quite an enjoyable day, a mix of different instruments, not enough brass instruments, that's a shame. Hopefully that'll change in the future. Um, and hopefully the standards will stay as, as they have done uh, for any future competition we do. And um, it, was, it, it had a nice journey, ending up with a good final round. We felt good about the final choices. We have had an amazing day's music, um, which would not have happened, could not have happened, without the help of sponsors, for which I, on behalf of Chandos and as well as Nikki said it, say thank you. We also, as, as Nikki says, we have a lot of people to thank, and that's very important, not least Nikki herself. I may come to that in a minute. Anyway, um, we, we have heard a lot of good music, We've heard a lot of extraordinarily fine and well-prepared programs. Uh, not everything has succeeded, but that's the nature of a, a day like today. Um, but we do have, uh, uh, we have come to a consensus <coughs> about the prize winners. Um, uh, I sat here most of the time with sort of amazed at how mature these young people perform in public. 
uh, and with such a cl clear understanding of the demands of playing to you and to us and the clear understanding of the pieces that they were trying to perform. And as I said, not everything succeeds totally well, but even so, there's a great deal to admire. And I'm sure you would agree we've had a very good afternoon listening to the finest. Mm -hmm. um, first thing first, um, I have to announce the most promising performer, who Nikki and I heard uh, two weeks ago. Uh, she didn't get through to the final, but we were absolutely startled by her ability uh, not least at the age that she is. And so we have a prize for the most promising performer for Hannah Brooks Hughes. of the instrument um, with a good array of dynamic and tonal variation. If there were any downsides at all, it was more that the repertoire is a bit limited for that instrument and possibly that was the occasion. The third prize winner is Chloe Percy Smith. With the second and first prize, we ran into a bit of discussion, so which I will not go into in detail for. But the reason for the choices that now follow are both of them showed exemplary instrumental ability and also a very high levels of musical maturity, even given the fact that they're not particularly old, at least in terms <laughs> to me, they're not old at all. But um, the person who won second prize just slipped a little in the absolute top level of uh, instrumental quality, of just technical security. Um, and on, on that basis, that, um, that's about all I really need to say. There was so much else that was great about the performance, but there were just certain levels of technical security and, and control that were just not there. So the second prize winner is going to Rebecca McNaught. showed extraordinary technical command of the instrument, but also, I must say, for a, a very high level of musical maturity and musical imagination to control both technically extremely demanding pieces as well as really, really interesting ideas and shapes, and just using the instrument to put across her idea of how any of the pieces went. And the first prize goes to Adelaide U. Adelaide's playing, it was a thrill to have that sort of standard in our competition. Um, and it's what we are always excited by when it happens.